This internet's driving me fucking crazy, dog. Like, literally, dog. Like, for real. Mm. Wow! This is what they don't want to see? This is what they don't want to see? Oh, well, we're not going to give our fucking kids back. What the fuck do you want from me? What do you want from me? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't ran across me before, hey, I go by Didi. Before I jump right into the video, I just have to thank y'all real quick for showing my very first video so much love. I was not expecting all that. Second off, a lot of y'all was asking me how did I grow my channel so fast, and I really don't have one answer for that, but I can definitely make a video if that's something y'all would be interested in, so let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see that. A lot of y'all was asking about my outfit in that first video, and y'all probably be asking about this one. If y'all like these, y'all have to check out my brand Bali. Now, I haven't released anything yet, but these are from my vendor. So, you know, you might see them in the future. So, I would definitely follow my Instagram right here. And I'll have a link in the bio as well. And if you haven't watched my first video, yeah, I'm going to have that link probably right here somewhere on the screen. But it's definitely going to be in the bio below. So, you can go ahead and watch that one after you finish this one if you like it. Because you'll definitely like that one if you like this one. So, yeah. Y'all can see who this video is about by the title, so I'm going to go ahead and get into it. But before I do that, y'all know I do have to make a disclaimer real quick. Anything in this video is already online. Once again, I did not make up any of this. None of this is slander or lies. I'm not making this video to bash anybody. We're all human at the end of the day, and I'm not nobody to judge anybody. I'm simply the messenger. And this video do involve children, so please, especially no bashing of the babies. It's not they fault at all. As y'all can see, this video is going to be about Shanika Grant, who can be found online as Independent Nika or Nika. Now, I found Nika about a year ago, scrolling on TikTok Live. You know, I joined her live, and she was just in the kitchen cooking, but the kids was real loud, hectic, screaming. And the way the comments was looking, I knew it was a deeper story behind her. And y'all know me, I did my little research, and I found out she had a Reddit page as well. And I found some kind of disturbing things in there I feel like a lot of people need to know, especially if you're financially supporting her or just supporting her, period. So let's go ahead and get into her backstory real quick so we can really see who Shanika Grant is. Shanika Grant was born October 15, 1984 in Sumter, North Carolina. According to her many five minute long documentaries on YouTube and her books on Amazon, she was raised by her grandmother because her biological mother abandoned her because she was dark skinned. She just called me black, called me ugly, treated me like I was an outsider, never treated me like a human being, never treated me like a child that came out of her body, out of her womb. According to Nika, her grandmother told her that her mother set her trailer on fire, left Nika inside, took her siblings, and basically left Nika inside to die. She also claimed she was abused by her mother and her grandmother, even saying she had to sleep on the laundry room floor. Here I am being abandoned down in the laundry room, on the floor, in a laundry room. Every day I come home from school, I'm in the laundry room on a hard ass floor, sleeping on the floor in the laundry room with a washing machine and a dryer and a freezer right there laying there like i'm asleep and then we talked to the principal what was going on and we already kept saying my grandma gonna kill us when we get home we don't want to go home but we wanted getting on the bus going home when we got home the dss worker knocked on the door they came to the door my grandma opened the door my grandma said there's no physical evidence going on in this household blah jay blah um they make us took off our shirt and look make sure no bruises was on us and they left when, my, when they left my grandma told us up she also speaks on her uncle who she describes as really crazy and disrespectful my uncle was the devil like our house was the crazy house our house was never the type of house that had peace it was crazy like he called my grandma b-word curse her out nika has received some backlash for repeatedly speaking on her brother's trauma involving this uncle on the internet without permission from her brother and just putting his business out there there are even some claims that her brother has left comments on her Facebook page saying that Nika is lying about her upbringing to the internet and she was really just a wild child that didn't want to listen to anybody. Now, I couldn't find no proof of them comments, but I did find some comments that he did leave on her Facebook page criticizing her for having so many kids and putting all her business out on the internet. So I'm going to leave that up for y'all to decide. So as y'all can see, she claims she went through a lot of abuse and trauma in her childhood, but there are some discussions on whether or not Nika is telling the truth about her upbringing because her story really never seems to add up all the way, and Nika is kind of known for getting caught in a lie. One thing viewers caught is the how she's always praising her grandma and her uncle that she so-called claims abuse her. So the internet is really never too sure what to believe from Nika. Nika has said she was in special education growing up. Had me like in uh, special education classes and I didn't want to be in certain classes that she had me in. I had some type of classes, but you might as well say it was resource classes. 
and she had me and I felt like I was bigger than that. I didn't, I didn't need that stuff. So I decided to um, drop out of school. And it's unclear whether or not she graduated from high school, but she claimed she goes to job courts. When I hit 16 or 17 or something like that, I had decided to call job court. And then I called them and they um, got me set up and everything. I told my grandma, so I'm leaving for the job course. They pay for everything. But in another story time, she said she ran away when she was around 16 or 17. As time went by in life, I got older. I ran away. I went to um, sell black magazines through the USA. But either way it goes, she ends up pregnant at 19 with her first child, a girl, and she names her Naya. After Nika has her first child, she moves in with her Annie. And back stay at my aunt's house. Um, my aunt started getting on my nerves. I packed my bags. My sister came and got me. When I didn't have a place to stay, me and my baby was on the street. So my sister took me in and gave me a place with my first child, which is Naya. My grandma was on her dying bed and we was at the hospital that day and I found I was pregnant with Papa and I went walking and apply and I got approved. So I was on my own since I was 19. So as y'all seen, Nika ends up pregnant again, this time with a boy, and they call him Papa. So now Nika has two kids, and she's living in public housing, working two part-time jobs. One of her jobs was Popeyes, and this is where she meets a man named Hayward when she's turned 25. So Hayward and Nika begin a relationship and begin to mess around. And according to Nika, Hayward moves himself into her spot with her and her two children. According to Hayward, he claims he was fresh out of jail when he started messing with Nika. But either way it go, real soon Nika ends up pregnant with Hayward's first child, a girl, and they name her Samoria, but they call her Leah. From then on, obviously Hayward and Nika continue their relationship because Nika continues to have children for him. But Nika claims throughout their relationship, Hayward was heavy in the streets and was always cheating on her. Many online believe Hayward and Nika were never really together, but Hayward led Nika on to believe this. So one day, they just chilling in the house or whatever, you know, and Nika gets a call from a girl. We gonna call her B. B is Hayward's childhood friend. Well, Miss B informs Nika that she was pregnant for Hayward and she just had the child. So of course, Nika is obviously hurt, but she still wants to make the relationship work. Before she could even do that, Nika's house ends up getting raided by the police because Hayward was selling drugs at the house. So the police take Nika and Hayward to jail and DSS takes all five kids. So Nika end up getting out and she get her kids and she takes out a loan to bond out Hayward. But since they found drugs in the house, Nika loses her section eight. So now they really struggling to find somewhere to stay. They do eventually find somewhere else to stay, but they're struggling really bad financially and Nika ends up having her sixth child. But despite all this, Hayward keeps cheating and lying and eventually he packs up his stuff and leaves her and the kids. And later on down the line, he ends up marrying B, the childhood friend that called and told Nika that she was pregnant for him. So now Nika is left with all the bills and the kids and she can't afford them by herself. So she ends up having to move out and move into a little apartment in the hood. In this new apartment, Nika has separate security cameras and she starts uploading the footage to YouTube. And she also starts uploading short little videos of her day-to-day -day life. Her videos gave her viewers a peek into her life. And it wasn't hard to tell by these videos that something was a little off in Nika's household, but we gonna get into that later on in the video. According to Nika, Hayward continued to come see her and fill her head with lies because she does eventually get pregnant with her seventh child. So Nika is still financially struggling to take care of her and her kids, and she's still sleeping with Hayward, even though he is not helping her out financially or with the kids. Now somewhere in the midst of all this, Nika claims her mother calls DSS on her and her kids get took into foster care. I never known a such thing as DSS until my first time my mother called DSS on me. So my mom called that first time my kids didn't get taken that time. But the second time my kids got took it into foster care because the family didn't want to take care of the kids anymore. Nika falls behind on her bills and she gets evicted from that apartment, but eventually she moves from that area and finds somewhere else to stay. And her and Hayward continue their relationship on the low. She ends up getting her kids back from foster care. Hayward ends up getting a new girlfriend and Nika has her 10th child, another baby for Hayward. After the birth of her 10th child, Nika's oldest son, Papa, falls into the wrong crowd and he starts getting into drugs. Now, one night he steals Nika's truck and he falls asleep behind the wheel driving it and he ends up crashing her truck. I was like, what? Kaya was like, mama, um, papa gone with the car. I said, oh, hell no. Papa done snuck the car and go over Papa, what you been doing? I don't know. You been having fun during them days, ain't it? 
You mm -hmm. went missing. I ain't know where you went at. I had to get the news recorder. Everybody to my house. I had to have you on live TV, son. Now, Papa have said that he was high on drugs during this incident. I was off his ass, so I didn't really feel it. Oh, man. Oh, God, I was, uh, I was off of Oxy when I was driving, and I was drunk. So, Nika sent him to go stay with his grandmother. So, as of today, Nika has nine kids living under her roof. So, a few months after the birth of her last child, DSS opened up another case on Nika, and the kids was placed with Hayward and his girlfriend for a couple months. Around this point in time, Nika started to gain a little bit more followers on social media because people were starting to keep up with her now that she didn't have her kids and she was posting some real unusual videos. Now, the more you watch Nika's video, it's clear to see why she had so many run-ins with DSS. There was obviously clear signs of abuse and neglect in our household, and here she was broadcasting it all to YouTube. It seemed like she posted every small detail and event in her life. Slowly, people began to notice signs that things were not well in her household. One red flag was Nika obviously had a large amount of children, but besides from a few part-time jobs that she held in the past, Nika is currently unemployed and she seems to be content with that. She makes no real effort to get a job and her oldest daughter, Naya, is the breadwinner of the house. Okay. So oh, the wing's not hot, it's making me mad. Just eat, it. stop being picky. That's my I'll pay for it. Okay. Now, Naya has held multiple jobs to support her family since she was able to start working. Naya has spoken out on social media about her experiencing depressive thoughts. I watched this beautiful family over there and I was like, wow. Wow I was all I can really think of, you know. I watched them walk together. I watched how he cared for his daughter. I watched how he made sure he, she stayed beside him, not close to these waters. I watched the mom. It, it just seemed like they have perfect family, you know? And many believe this is because Nika is placing too much stress upon this 19-year-old to keep up with her household. But Naya has also received a lot of criticism because she is seen acting like a mini Nika at times and exhibits a lot of behavior that her mother does upon her siblings. <laughs> I just gave y'all power. What did y'all do with it? Why did you tell that lady when I got me crazy, Naya? Whoa, well, Will. Why you yelling Get at me? Get him something to drink. Cause I'm tired of buying stuff and y'all just not drinking and y'all wasting it, bro. Y'all wasting my money, bro. Y'all about to make me mad. Y'all got something to drink right there. How many times we got to buy y'all something to drink in one day? Yep, you sure this is bought power. Where the power in it? He got it in his head. A whole big jug. You bought three jugs of power. Don't care about no people. Naya was also just recently hospitalized with blood clots in her lungs and was advised against working. But as soon as she was released from the hospital, she was looking for another job. Nika's main source of income is checks from YouTube, and these checks are not nearly enough to support a family of 10. So, of course, Naya feels pressured to work to help her mama support her family. Nika has moved her and her family to a couple places over the years but it seems like in every house that they stay in it seems to be a lack of household items a lack of furniture empty fridges even though she receives food stamps and the house always seems to not be kept up with hey, where's the mic it's right there it's right there ain't nothing right there but a piece of paper and a dustpan and a board and a, and a shirt that's it don't show the hallway they clean out the car. People quit to judge you. But all this trash piled up. And we out here cleaning it. About to take it to the vacuum. Ain't no shame in my game. It's just the real shit. And people get mad about what you show the real. But when you got a big family of 10, of course it's going to be like this. Nika relies on government benefits as well as her supporters' money for basic items. She has even been known to use her kids to beg for supporters' money. Since Say it not yet. Just wait till we get deeper in the live. Don't say it until like, oh, she told her daughter to say that. You understand that? Yeah. Wait a little bit. When I do like this, now, let me see now. Come on now. But y'all, come on, baby. Come on. I got one question. What is that question? What y'all gonna get for my birthday? I wanna know. Yeah. Comment. Come on. What y'all gonna get for my birthday? A happy birthday, and that's it. Nika also refuses to buy beds for her kids, and they all can be seen sleeping in one room because it's only one fan in the trailer and the AC doesn't work. Kids are always up late. A couple years back, she took one of her sons to the doctor, and this is what he told the doctor about his sleeping habits. Um, any, tr any trouble sleeping at night? Yeah. Yeah? I stay up all night. 
No, it ain't. No, he don't. That's I stay up all night every day. Give me this. What the fuck? Ain't y'all fucking in school or something? Y'all got school today? Oh, y'all just forgot about that. This is why I tell y'all to take your ass to bed on time, bro. Like, ain't none of y'all in school. The kids have been sleeping on the floor for a while now. She even have a video up of Hayward coming into the room. <laughs> As you can see, Hayward is aware of his kids' living situation and obviously doesn't care that his kids are sleeping on the floor. Nika relies on her supporters' money to buy essentials for her house and her kids while she spends her little YouTube check on things for herself like hair, nails, fast food, and bingo. Meanwhile, her kids are always seen wearing big, baggy clothes. You can tell the clothes is dirty, shoes don't fit. All in all, they're not looking put together or clean. A supporter even donated her a big box of shoes and she was seen with her oldest daughter digging through the box before her kids could even pick them a pair. More shoes. Oh, my kids can rock the fuck out these. They do not need those. They're gonna damage them things. Is it boys? I think those are kids very much. I'm just going to the right now. I can't fit it. I'm Yep, these are boys. These are joints she said. I'm rock the fuck out these. The kids are often seen ungroomed and unhygienic. You can tell Nika never really took the time to teach her kids how to take care of their body, like bathing and brushing their teeth, because they're often seen looking ungroomed and really dirty. You can just tell they don't bathe and brush their teeth how they should. They're often seen in the same clothes for days, and it's just clear that they're not bathing in their house like they should. Nika also tries to hide the fact that they don't have hot water in the house, and she doesn't check on them after to make sure that they've been bathing, so it's clear that most of the kids are not bathing. And she is often seen hiding essentials like toothpaste and even food in her bathroom, so the kids won't get into it. So it's clear that they're not brushing their teeth in the house either. So they're obviously not bathing and brushing their teeth as they should be because several of the children have rotten teeth. One of her daughters, Kira, was born with a heart defect and Nika has ignored it for years until she took Kira to the doctor and he told her that Kira has to have her rotten teeth pulled before he can do the procedure. Now, if you didn't know, your gums are directly linked to your heart. So it's very important that you have good dental hygiene because it can affect your heart. Now, Nika has not taken Kyra to get her teeth pulled out yet, so Kyra has still not had surgery for the hole in her heart. Two of her son's teeth were rotten as well, but she actually did take them to get theirs pulled. But when they got them pulled, she sent them back to school the very next day. Wake up, boy. He looks scared for his life. He's scared for his life. Say hey, Bobby. And they both were sedated. They both got all their teeth out of their mouth. Oh my God, Elijah has none in the back at all. Um, Isaiah has his bottom teeth taken out and they also took out his front, which his front just was a little decayed, they say, so they just went ahead and pulled it now. Even Nika had bad teeth and she's often seen chewing with the ones in the front because the ones in the back is done for. Nika also feeds them nothing but junk. She's known for taking them to the Dollar Tree and letting them pick out a few things. But you know, kids gonna be kids. Of course, they're hand right for the junk foods, the candy, the chips, the sodas. And we all know kids love sweets and stuff like that, but as the adult, you have to be the ones in control of their diet. And all this junk food is not helping their health and especially not their teeth. Kids can't really make responsible food choices for themselves. So Nika, as the mother, you have to step in and decide how much of what they can have. It seems like these kids have no limits on sweets or junk food and that's all they seem to eat. She is also known for getting them one little Caesar's pizza to split between eight kids. And when she do cook, she cook very small portions and the food is always looking just a little bit questionable. She cooked the same couple of meals, usually consisting of fried chicken, chicken legs, beans, or rice, and of course her meat tenderizer and a whole lot of sodium. She always giving them little portion sizes that's just way too small for growing children, but she always makes sure that her own plate is filled to the brim. It's so obvious these kids will be starving. It was even a video that they was fighting over a piece of pizza that fell on the floor. You can't eat off the floor, let me hold it. Uh -huh. She said no, no, slow. I can eat it. She 
saying no more fluffy? I could eat it. Let me eat it. Let me eat it. Let me eat it. Mama, let me eat it. No, it so obviously these kids is not being fed enough, and when they are being fed, it's nothing but junk food. The youngest baby, side the tenth child just turned one and she is not hitting any of her milestones as she should be. She's often seen left alone in the bed, laying on her back or in the pack and play, just alone crying somewhere. And it's obvious side will be starving too. She's always crying. Every time she sees food, it's just so obvious that this little baby is ready for some table food. But Nika would just continue to give her milk or tell one of the kids to give her her pacifier. You can't eat the whole thing. It was until the conversation told her that Sai is ready for table food that Nika finally started to give her the smallest little portions of food. But it's still obvious that Sai will be starving. And you would think that a mother of 10 would know that her baby is ready for table food, but it seems like Nika just lacks a lot of motherly instincts and she struggles with basic tags. You is really delayed and slow you you know damn well there is no sugar free rain pop i can't with these slow people i ain't nothing slow about nika i got more sense than you think i am um that nika herself just seems very childlike her captions is always long drawn out sentences misspelled words and you could just tell it's some oh she's always seen running around and playing in stores <laughs> she's always yelling and hollering right along with her kids instead of correcting them to stop she'll join in with them She overall acts like a sibling towards her children than a mother. She's constantly blaming them for things that she is responsible for as a mother. You came in the car and you told me a lie. That's lying to me. I don't like when y'all lie to me. I'm a nice mom. You don't have to lie to me. It's your second time sleeping in class. I asked you, what, what I what I said to you about sleeping in class? What, what we talk about? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you. What do you remember I told you? Yeah, that's all I Excuse me, y'all. When I'm on camera, right? And you see me on camera, can you politely say, excuse me, mom, can I speak with you for a minute? I'm making a YouTube video to make money to put it in our pockets. So now, can you say, excuse me, mom, please? And she doesn't really seem to make the connection that in order for them to do something, she has to teach them first. They don't just come born knowing how to do everything. She'll often get frustrated at them for not knowing how to do certain stuff, but you have to teach them first. It also seems like Nika has no real connection with her kids. She's often seen being really unnecessarily mean and rude to them, giving them crazy looks. What the hell are you doing with <laughs> oh. <laughs> And she's crying to the camera. Tell the camera you okay. Are you a hospital? Do you go to cross the camera like that? Don't do it again. You see me record over the video. Now you done messed the video up. Come here. Are you mad? Huh? Hey, yeah. I'm mad. Can I come up? 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 Ain't somebody the book bag too big for they bed. It is too big. Look at Kira book bag. Shut up. Shut up. Y'all kids talk too much. Shut up. Nobody asked you to tell nothing on camera. Let's do with y'all kids while I'm going to put y'all on camera because y'all talk too much. I ain't nobody asked you nothing. You already know his age. I asked them. You're making a video. Um, What is his age? Not Elijah to tell his age. Always running on my ankle eating my bed. Get out of my bed eating. You got a whole plate inside of my bed. It seems like Nika is stunted or delayed age-wise. I did. I did. I D is I comma D. I I I D be the 
want in a relationship. There's also been some lies where viewers notice Nika acting a little unusual and looking like she's under the influence of some type of drug. Oh, I hate my baby daddy! I hate him! No, Paul. Hello. 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 Viewers also spotted a pill bottle hidden in a shoe on the top of the closet during one of her lives. But Nika has not come out to say that she has ever been under the influence of any type of drugs or that she do drugs and stuff like that. Overall, Nika doesn't acknowledge any issues with her household, even though most of her kids are in the wrong grade. They would need to have their own learning plans and stuff like that, but Nika has never taken out the time to set this up. She simply just sends them to school in whatever grade the school puts them in. One of her boys is 10 in the third grade when he should be in fifth. And another one is eight in the first grade when he should be in third. One of her sons also has some speech problems and could clearly benefit from speech therapy. But once again, Nika refuses to put him in these classes. A young car outside and public education on my mom's Nika is also overly sexual, especially towards her children. Why are you getting naked for your own? Take it all off right quick. Let me see. Hey, yeah, she took it off. Damn, she threw it in the back. What was that camera? Oh, yeah? Mm. <laughs> she's small. She's, <laughs> she's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> she often makes certain comments and you can just see how uncomfortable everybody is allegedly when her kids was took it was drugs found in their system and semen found in one of the little girls mouths I'm telling you like dss took my kids away from me because somebody saying that my drugs in the house um they trying to say that um tested positive for coach was a lie because when i call back up there the man that gave me the lab results i record the whole damn thing but i had got a new phone um he said no i did not test it positive for nothing um he said that i had a little bit of he said somehow she had a little bit of semen in her mouth or something like that and she has put her 13 year old daughter on birth control even though them kids don't go nowhere but school also known that there were some inappropriate relations between some of the siblings so obviously it's some type of sexual abuse going on inside their house your siblings pulled out their diapers why is that i told his ass off the meat market i, I told him up for it and i talked to his daddy about it he pulled my diaper down i said what you so he didn't he didn't change you he said no so I tore his ass up about that, but what? what uh, I'm gonna get on him about that. I, have, I cannot let that slide. Kid, kids gonna be kids, but you don't do stuff like that. No, ma'am. All the kids have phones and they're not monitored, so it's really no telling what they be in there doing. Zika is also just extremely irresponsible and she was even riding around with no brakes at one point. She often leave her kids home alone to watch each other and they even take turns missing school to watch each other. Nika continues to praise Hayward online, even though he does nothing to help with her kids and her household. And Nika has said it herself that Hayward does not help her out financially, even though he is seen being active in his other kids' lives. She's always trying to catch his attention online, and she's always posting little hints that make it seem like she's still seeing him on the low. Even some controversy that before she got pregnant with her 10th child, she was pregnant with a boy, but she had a miscarriage. But viewers believe that she was never pregnant at all and she made up that pregnancy to get Hayward's attention and to get some money from her supporters. So when people was catching on and she really wasn't pregnant, she hurried up and had another child so she could kind of cover it up. For most people, it's obvious that these kids not getting their needs met in Nika household and that something needs to be done. I feel like Nika is generally unfit to be a parent, especially of so many young children. I mentioned early in the video, her brother recognizes that she posts too much on social media and Nika does often run to social media to tell all her business. She records really private moments of her children's lives and she's just always putting everybody's business out on the internet for everybody to see. To me, I feel like Nika is still deeply in love with Hayward and she's just delusional over him. I feel like she misinterpreted their relationship from the start and Hayward was never around for the right reason. She felt hard for him and he just kept going back to her in his vulnerable moments. Nika continued to have children for this man thinking it was going to make him stay and to prove that they were still missing around. I don't think Nika has completely grasped what it means to be a mother because right now them kids is just surviving. They're not living out their childhood like they should. I really hope Nika can step it up and take control of her household and give her kids the childhood they really deserve. So as y'all can see, Nika's story is definitely deeper than it seems. I hope Nika can reach out to somebody that she trusts for some support and some love because it's a crazy world out here. 
I'm not sitting up here bashing nobody just to bash them. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.